What is going on, everybody? So, Linux Mint 21.3 Virginia just came out on the 12th of January, 2023. Uh, we are sitting here uh, January 18th. So, I am going to upgrade from Victoria to Virginia. That being said, let's jump right in. So, before I upgrade, I'm going to do a time shift and grab a snapshot of my system just in case anything goes wonky I can go ahead and roll that back so I'm just gonna hit create that's going to take a snapshot of my file system so those will be okay in case I do need to roll back and while that's running I just went out here to Linux Mint uh, Wikipedia and you can see uh, the new release and this is kind of a nice table because it lets you know uh, what uh, what Ubuntu versions correspond to what Linux Mint versions uh, if you're new to Mint it is built off of Ubuntu uh, so you can run into a lot of issues there when doing installs uh, just because the way it uh, grabs the variable for the name of the distribution uh, is a little bit different and I'll show you what I mean so if you're on Linux Mint uh, Vanessa Vera Victoria or Virginia uh, you are actually on an OS that's built off of 22.04 uh, so if say I go here and this is docker compose install uh, docker engine install and I look for Ubuntu uh, in this command I can tell if we go to the terminal and just do echo that's going to give me Victoria which is actually uh, the Linux Mint name not the Ubuntu name uh, but to fix that you could either replace and I can make that a little bigger I think sorry about that you could make uh, change this to Ubuntu code name and then jammy is what we want uh, of course you could just replace the word jammy uh, replace all this in your commands uh, but it's a little bit cleaner just to use Ubuntu code name all right so we have our snapshot I'm just gonna go ahead double click here and say uh, before Virginia upgrade all right now that we have our snapshot uh, there's two places you can do this uh, Linux Mint is nice because if you come to the update manager and just go to edit uh, you can see upgrade to Linux Mint 21.3 Virginia and also it kind of gave me an alert here from system reports and I'm just going to go ahead do that next uh, release notes I trust Linux Mint uh, new features I understand the risk that seems a little bit off there we go not sure about that lag we put in our password and let that do its thing all right it is 447 so I think I'm just gonna let that run and we will pick back up once that finishes see about how long that takes all right it is now 449 so less than three minutes uh, that was pretty great oops I'm going to wait and I'm going to wait again when it said you can close this window I thought it meant this whole window uh, maybe it was just that prompt give that a minute to think make sure it doesn't pop up for us again I'm still going to wait 
because doing a system update like this, or I shouldn't even say a system update and a system upgrade is probably uh, one of the top three worst times to uh, end a process when it's running. All right, so let's see. Uh, still jammy, which is to be expected. And that did not require a reboot, which is actually pretty surprising. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot anyways here. And we'll just confirm uh, that, uh, that that upgrade was successful and nothing's going a little wonky. So I'm going to pause the video, restart, and I'll be right back. All right, uh, my PC is back up, and uh, let's see if I can just up arrow. Uh, this is going to be the Linux Mint name, and of course, uh, still the Ubuntu code name, Jammy. Uh, my background uh, was persisted, went ahead and uh, it didn't blow that away, which I've had happen with some other OS upgrades. Uh, if you do have things that go wonky, uh, and you have a at least a graphical user interface you can use your desktop uh, you could go to time shift you know if it's really bothersome and you could go ahead and do a restore uh, but that's it for this video hopefully that showed you just kind of the easy way you can upgrade linux and and showed you a little bit about the the trickiness that comes with Mint, it's really just most of the time knowing to use the Ubuntu name rather than the Mint name. Uh, but hopefully this helped some of you out there out, and I will see you in another video.